I'm a board member, so you know, I think my responsibility is huge to be an equity leader. Oh my God, I didn't even know what that meant when I ran. I, when I asked my family, like, should I run, you know, and I didn't realize how much I would be depending on them. So also my husband, unlikely sort of supporter of equity, you might think, uh, you know, Irish cop in San Francisco, you know. And he, believe it or not, sets me straight a lot. And he says, Sandy, well, where is the safe place for white males really to talk about race? Where is the safe place for me to talk about? And it's really, and then I had to think about it, and it's like, yeah, because, you know, I was griping about all these people, and he's like saying, so where is the safe place? And so I think myself as, uh, I, don't even, I don't even know if I can even call myself a leader for equity, but I know that my responsibility is to stay on track. I have to be courageous. I have to be fearless because it is, um, as I said, it is isolating, but it is also um, personally painful. You know, it is because as an organizer, when you've sat in the living rooms of parents and you've asked them to vote for you, and you have promised them that you would work and do this. So when people come and attack you, and they do, and you get hate mail, and you get a lot of like death threat type of really mean, when you pass, legis you pass policies such as supporting our LGBTQ youth, when you pass policy for restorative justice, when you pass ethnic studies, and you get folks coming back at you, but you know that you're on the path, it is, um, it is personally painful that people don't see it the same way you do. But then I think my job is that we meet everyone where they are, but we cannot let them stay where they are. So my job is, yeah. And so, I like, to, I like to think that we are all learning here. And I, as a you know, middle class Chinese woman in San Francisco, married to you know, a white cop who's been here for 35 years, I am learning too. And I think the process of learning, <laughs> believe me, I have been learning. And I think the process of learning and meeting people where they are and understanding that people have not seen what I have seen. People have not heard what I have heard. And people just don't know. And then I have to say that I will try, and I've had these conversations because myself as a board member, I need to go out and I need to bridge. And there are few people that can be really a bridge. And I feel like my being married to, you know, and being who I am, uh, I am a bridge to those communities about what needs to happen. And you know what? And I need to say it. And I need to, I need to hear, but then I need to push back a little. And I can't, and I've really learned that I cannot be the advocate with this. I have to do this. And I have to say it in a way that I think resonates with everyone in their human core that I have to believe is there, which sometimes is really difficult. And and I think it is my job as an equity leader to always make people aware of the conversation that needs to happen and create also a safe place when they're talking to me that I am listening and I am not shutting them out. But I will tell you this, I will meet them where they are and I will try to bring them to another place. But if I can't do it, then I am done with them. I mean, I just have to say, I am done with them. Because I feel like there are certain people that we can reach and I will waste, I mean, I will do some time with them, but you know what? Then I am done. Because there are also folks that hold on to a power structure and they will not let go. And when they are now this part of this power structure that actually organizing to undo what we are trying to do, then you know what? This is a different conversation because you know, Okay, I might be crying in front of you, but I'm just gonna tell you this. I am willing to fight for this. I didn't run for the board and not make money and work in an environment where I think, you know, it's not where I used to work at Coleman. 
not to make change. Mm -hmm. And so I think also, so I just want to say to all of you doing the work, man, I can't tell you that when someone comes up to me and says, hey, Sandra, you know what? Thanks for that restorative justice piece of policy for doing it. I just have to say thank you.